Hello and welcome to episode 85 of Prosperity by the Pint. I'm your host, Bryce Carter, certified financial planner, chartered financial consultant, certified investment management analyst, and self-proclaimed millennial money expert. This is a podcast where we talk about money, investing, business, and life success, all while having a cold beer. Cold beer of the week comes to us from Southern Tier Brewing Company, Lakeshore Fog, Hazy and Juicy IP Hazy and Juicy IPA. And they are brewed in Lakewood, New York. Have not had this before. Let's give it a try. Cheers. Ooh. It's got a bite to it. I don't know how I feel about that. I'm going to have to come back to it. Well, this is it, folks. Episode 85. This is the last episode of Prosperity by the Point. We started this uh, about two years ago. Um, it's 85 episodes. It's been a fun ride. Uh, I have accomplished what I feel like I set out to accomplish with this episode, uh, this podcast. I've had a lot of fun doing it. Uh, Allie's had a lot of fun doing it as our, our chief editor. Um, by the time this podcast episode debuts, we'll probably have over 7,000 downloads on, uh, on, on podcast servers, but we've also had, I don't know how many thousands or maybe tens of thousands of views on, uh, and listens and on Facebook and YouTube and, and those other servers. I've had, uh, you know, lots of emails and, and messages of support, phone calls, um, phone meetings. I've had meetings with people, uh, new clients, and all kinds of different things from this podcast. I've been asked to, to talk to different uh, groups of financial advisors on how podcasts can have an impact. It's been a long ride. and I've done a lot. And I feel like the podcast has meant a lot to me, and I hope it's meant a lot to you as listeners. Um, my goal with this was really to provide some financial education in a format that is enjoyable to listen to with somebody that's hopefully likable to listen to while doing one of the things I like to do, which is try craft beers. You know, in the first episode, I talked so much about how <clears throat> we as, as, as millennials, younger people don't have the same setup as our parents and grandparents did. Uh, it's not worse. It's not better. Certain aspects might be worse or better, but overall, it's not a worse hand. It's just different. And and that difference can be a lot better if we have the right financial education, uh, if we have the right strategies in place. But our school systems don't really teach personal finance, our, our, certainly not through grade school, high school, and, and in college, it has to be something you have to look out for. Um, it's not something that's normally taught. And I think Basic financial education, investment education, can go a long way in, in making a difference in a person's life um, from from their late teens until they retire uh, or in, even throughout retirement. Financial education is important. And I feel like what I wanted to do with this was share some of the biggest things that I've learned in both being a financial planner, studying as a financial planner, and as, as things I've learned personally in my life as well as those of the guests uh, I wanted to motivate and inspire, but also educate on, on how we can have a little bit better financial future for ourselves and our children. And I've enjoyed my time doing this. Uh, I, I tell you what, I enjoy the doing and recording the podcast so much, especially when I get tokens of support. Prepping for the podcast, I will not lie, is a lot of work. Um, I put the episodes together ahead of time. I have to get them screened by compliance. Um, I have to do those kind of things to make sure that, that, that we put on a good show. We put on a good episode for our listeners. I don't want you to give up 10, 15, 20, 30 minutes of your time and me just to, to ramble. And so with the prep time, with the time to record, with the time for Allie to edit and the growth of my business, I feel like at this point I've accomplished what I wanted to, and I need to focus on my business, my clients that work with me on a day-to-day -day basis and on my family. And so at 85 episodes, we've had a lot of listeners. We've had a lot of good times. We've had a lot of jokes. We've had a lot of craft beers, and it's been a lot of fun. So if you're listening to this last episode, remember, all 85 episodes are still there. Send me a message. Send me an email. Follow us on Facebook. We're going to keep this stuff up and alive. Thanks for listening. Cheers. The topics that I discuss in this podcast are meant to be general information and educational only. I'm not giving you specific advice because I don't know you personally. In order to give you specific advice, you should work with an advisor or someone that can learn your specific situation and give you advice that applies to you. If I talk about a specific security, please keep in mind I'm not recommending that security. And don't forget, investing involves risk. When you invest, there's always the possibility of losing capital, which is why you should consult with a qualified, licensed financial advisor prior to investing.